Hello, my beautiful babies. Today I am watching the new Dune part two trailer for the very first time. This will be my reaction to the trailer. It's very simple. You guys know all about this. There's lots of these. But before we dive into the sands of Arrakis, let's talk about my upcoming Kickstarter launching May 30th for my very first full-length feature film, Akira, the documentary. That's right, I'm making a documentary about the greatest hand-drawn animated movie of all time, featuring interviews with Mike Haller, the producer who helped bring Akira to America, as well as Marvin Gleicker, the co-founder of Manga Entertainment, Joe the Peacock, the collector who amassed the largest archive of original production art from the movie, Ed Pisker, the Eisner Award-winning comic book artist and co-host of Cartoonist Kayfabe on YouTube, and many, many more. Akira the Documentary is a love letter discussing the huge cultural impact made by this landmark film and its enduring influence on pop culture. Learn about its creator, Katsuhiro Otomo, and the army of people who came together to create this epic beast. Come on a journey with me as I explore the mind-blowing techniques used in this iconic film that set the bar in 2D animation and continue to dazzle audiences to this day. Thanks to all your love and support over the past decade, we've been able to create hundreds of videos for YouTube. And now, it's time for us to take it to the next level. Pledge to my Kickstarter, and let's make Akira the Documentary together. All right, here we go. When you see sand here, imagine water. If you dive in, you can't reach the bottom. You dive in? Yes, it's called swimming. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe you. They're so bad. In the shadows of Arrakis lie many secrets. But the darkest of them all may remain. <laughs> the end of House Atreides. Your father didn't believe in revenge. Revenge is for the emotionally retarded. What if Paul Atreides were still alive? <laughs> Frank Herbert. Ugh. Is that fate? Oh, God. Why is fate an engineer? Is my question. Oh, he looks terrible. Oh, no. Have you ever had a dream about your first ride? He's got the thumper going. Time to, to impress anyone. Time to prove he's a man. Ride Shai Halud around, all right. That. Be simple. Be direct. Wow, this sounds like my Shifu. Are you jumping down on him? Oh, got him. Nothing fancy. I understand. Nothing fancy. You will never lose me, Paul Atreides. Gave them something to hope for. That's not her. Is she like tatted? Is Lady Jessica like tatted? Ship and shatter. Or is that like like makeup? All right, I did it. That's tats. The people on Twitch live are telling me that she is in fact tatted. That's pretty hardcore. I like the tats. That's, that's, you know, that's one way to say that you're, you're really committed. <laughs> Is that you tattooed your face? The Bedouin, yeah, absolutely. So the Dune part two official trailer. It did, I did get a little hype watching him ride the worm. I'm not gonna lie to you. The worms, Shai is the best part of the movie for me. I love seeing the worm and that was cool. That was giving me a little bit of tingles. That, I like that. Still not sold on Chalamet and Zendaya. Zendaya is horrific in this role. 
and she is, is she's just drowning. This is way over her head. Chalamet too. Thinking back on this trailer, Paul being like, nothing fancy. It's like, you get out of here. You're not gonna be cocky before you go ride the worm, bro. This is like serious business. I don't like seeing Chalamet play it cocky. Like, oh, okay. I'll try not to be too cool, dad. <laughs> you know, it's just like, okay, you're riding a giant worm. Like, have some respect for the ceremony, Chalamet. Uh, Florence Pugh, okay, you know, all right. I think Anna Taylor Joy would be a better choice for Irulan, uh, just looks wise. And this is me being, you know, very shallow about it. But I like Florence Pugh, she's a fantastic actress. So I will say I love her as an actress. Uh, not liking the engineer fade look. Yikes. So far, Sting remains. Sting remains the best fade, the best fade. And not that I thought that this Austin Butler fella was gonna surpass fade, because, or Sting is fade, but Sting remains undefeated, because Sting, he had, he had hot twink vibes. He's wearing that wing Speedo. He's got the crazy hair. He's a little little wiry guy. Lots of muscles, just just like like not an ounce of fat on that guy. Uh, but I'm excited to see Stilgar on that worm because I heard that Javier Bardem just really wanted to ride. Be like, there's a he needs to have a shot of him riding a worm, which like I think you know this he's finally gonna get in this movie. And who who could blame him? You know, Javier Bardem is just like such a great casting for this. I stand by him. He's just mm, mm, so perfect. So, so, so perfect. Um, anything else? I'm trying to think of what else. What else about this trailer? It's a trailer. <laughs> Even though it's very beautiful and it sounds awesome and it just looks amazing and the budget's there and there's a lot of really great actors involved and it's just so much talent across the board. I just wish there were more weirdness. I'm just missing the weirdness. I love, that's my favorite part of Dune. It's my favorite part of Dune is that it is just really weird. <laughs> it's very, very odd. And that I'm weird. So that's something that I really gravitate towards. And I, I just want more of that. But at the same time, I understand that this is a, you know, international film and they need international audiences to come to the theater and give them their money so that they can get all the money back that they put into this film. That's how the business of films work. <laughs> you, you put money in and then you hope that a bunch of people come in and they give you money and then they pay you back for the film that you just made and plus extra, you know? I mean, not only do you wanna break even, but you wanna make a profit, you know? Like that's the goal. And so they need to make this accessible to as many people as possible around the world, international audiences. And so it's understandable that they would want to, you know, make it a little less weird and a little more accessible. And I get it because they're not making a movie just for me. <laughs> and that's fine. That's fine. I'll still go give them my money regardless, even if I'm not, even if I'm not as excited about it as other people are, I will still go give it my money and I will still want to go see it. And that's it for my trailer reaction. Coming soon. The Berserk Manga Breakdown, part one of two. Dive back into the dark medieval fantasy series with Danica as she discusses the idea of fate versus free will, ponders the price of revenge, and asks the question, did Griffith do anything wrong? <laughs>